My name is Daniel DeCapua. I am a physician here at Yale University, and today we'll be discussing multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disorder which affects the myelin of the central nervous system, the brain and spinal cord. Myelin insulates the nerves and helps propagate the action potentials from one part of the nervous system to another. When myelin is disrupted by multiple sclerosis, the function of the central nervous system is compromised, and this can result in a wide range of symptoms. Weakness, abnormal sensation, patients may experience double vision, blindness, trouble with coordination, bowel and bladder dysfunction, cognitive, and occasionally even psychiatric symptoms. Worldwide, there are approximately 2.5 million people living with multiple sclerosis. Most MS patients are diagnosed between the ages of 20 to 50. Notably, this disease is more common in women, about two to three times more. Some data suggest that living in a higher geographical latitude may predispose an individual to developing multiple sclerosis. The diagnosis of multiple sclerosis is based on a patient's symptoms and the signs. The hallmark of the disorder is radiographic evidence on MRI of lesions in the white matter of the brain and or spinal cord. These occur at different places and at different times. The criteria that have been developed based on these lesions are called the McDonald criteria. There are a number of diagnostic tools that can also help aid the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis besides the MRI. Evaluation of the cerebral spinal fluid and even evoked potentials may be used. There are several different types of multiple sclerosis. The most common is the relapsing remitting form. In this form, there are unpredictable attacks or relapses followed by relatively quiescent periods of disease. These are the remissions. Deficits that appear during attacks may resolve completely or remain relatively permanent. In certain patients, the relapsing remitting form of multiple sclerosis may actually transform into a secondary progressive type. Here, progressive neurologic disability accumulates without any clear periods of remission. There is also a primary progressive type. This results in progressive neurologic disability without any clear attacks or remissions. Treatment. Steroids are typically used acutely to mitigate the intensity and duration of an attack. Many disease-modifying therapies are available to treat relapsing and remitting form of multiple sclerosis. Available treatments decrease the annualized relapse rate by approximately 30 to 70 percent. There is only one medication approved for the treatment of secondary progressive MS. There are currently no medications approved to treat primary progressive multiple sclerosis.